Well, we've decided to start working on the barbed wire. There's a nice breeze over here and we're in the shade of the tree line. You can see it all up and down the tree line. We're in the shade. So we're going to do the rebar, or rebar, the barbed wire uh, along here where we left off yesterday. And uh, Chris actually got a barbed wire puller, like a tightener um, from Bob, I think. So we're going to work on that because it's so nice over here. Just walking over here, it was so hot and it's just beautiful in here. So we're going to try and get some more barbed wire done today. And uh, we'll go do the second string over there and uh, it's out in the sun later on. And we're also working on the inside of the barn, getting the wall and the floor ready for the cow. Yeah. Right. So are you going to cut it like on where this one is and then just attach it to a board and... Uh, no, I'm just going to cut it just past where the gate starts. Oh. Uh. And then I'll just put a little piece in between for now. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's good, eh? Hmm. No, it's hooked on the tree.
So for now, we're just going to go from this um, right. post to that tree. Um, because Chris has got to be able to get around the barn to put the slats on where the openings are and to paint it. And we're going to leave that little opening there too. So we're going to go from this tree over to the fence post here so the cow can't go up that way. It'll just come out the back door, go up there, and then into the pasture at the back. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. Well, he's just going to wrap around that fat tree for now. And then go over to this post here.
putting a gate here, maybe cut one or two trees and make a path through to the pasture in the middle of the property. So um, we'll worry about a gate later. We're just going to put two pieces there, across there. Um, so it doesn't get through for now and worry about this other pasture uh, next year. So that's those two temporary pieces done and now we got to go back down to this end and either make the part where the gate is going to be or go across the property again. something to put on here because we're on a slope right now and it's just too frustrating with this thing hitting against that Where am I pointing right there that um, so it's really frustrating for him but you can see how much we've got done already it's not gonna take too long really to get this top strand done and then this is done and uh, ready for Daisy, Bessie, Bella, Velvet, whoever. Still haven't decided. Those are some of the suggestions I've gotten for names. But, um, so next year, like I say, we're going to divide this one down the middle. So there will be two pastures here. And we were going to make this a third one, but now we're going to divide this into two as well. So there will be four different pastures, and that's really good for the land too. Um, you know, not to let them eat it right down to bare dirt before you move them. So, you know, this one will get eaten. And the best thing too is um, next year, Chris, well, the rest of this year too, he won't be spending hours and hours and hours out here um, trying to keep up with cutting this grass. So um, we get her to do the job and we get milk and cream and butter. Yummy doesn't get much better than that so I don't think we'll have too much trouble with the four different sections here um, I'd be really surprised if that's not enough but then again if not um, we have a backup plan so now after we're done this I think we're going over to work on the barn um, to get the divider wall done and the floor for the cow, whatever her name is. 
So Chris is just putting a couple of pieces across there. That eventually will be a gate to either come into this pasture or go that way to that pasture. I don't get to see that much of Hazel's two chicks anymore because they're always hiding underneath the sea container from the heat or running away from these big guys. So they're here right by the house tonight. And these guys are around too. Yeah, see they run as soon as the big ones come near them. But they're in pretty close proximity to the main uh, flock anyway. So that's good. They're mingling. So Chris has got a bunch of corn, that's why they're all here. So I'm going to try and sneak a piece for the little cheapers. Keep a half a cob and feed these heathens and then bring a little cob back to these guys. There's that. <laughs> Just gonna cut that off. Oh, uh, they didn't follow Chris, so I think we need to sneak back there with some for them. Or maybe give me a piece and I'll take it over there. So I brought a little piece of the cob over here, where the other chickens aren't going to see them. I haven't had time really to pick these guys up or pet them or anything because my surgery was a couple days after they were hatched. So, oh, I sure hope they're not roosters. My goodness. <laughs> There's a teenager coming. That's the little dark hen. Oh, she's going to be a bully and chase them away. But she was hanging away from the other crowd, so maybe she's getting picked on by the main ones. Well guys, we are done for today. The old people are pooped. So excited that we got that um, barbed wire done and just a little bit closer to being able to go pick up my cow. And uh, I think Chris is gonna work on the floor of the barn tomorrow and the divider wall that is also gonna be a support beam for down the center of the barn. So that's gonna be his job tomorrow. I am going to um, clean, cut, and blanch the beans that we just picked, and then we've gotta attack the onions and beets. Get those done. So anyway, we're done for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and share this video with your family and friends. And we'll see you next time.